Good morning and welcome along to the first ride test of this. Doesn't this look good? AJS Cadwell. Now, very, very retro. And if you've just watched the walk around video, there is a separate walk around video of this where you can get up close and personal with the bike. But overview quickly for those that haven't seen it bulbs all round, spoked chrome tyres, disc brake to the front on this. Stainless steel exhaust system all the way through, kickstart, very easy to get in, spark plug, oil, do all your maintenance on one of these. Disc brake to the rear with spoked wheel yet again. Cadwell logo to the side, just look at the detailing on that tank. And your seat, you're not going to get a pillion on there, you'll struggle with a pillion, but it has got a set of rear pegs on this. Bulbs to the rear, and then side stand and yes this has a main stand on it as well so you can pop it up onto a main stand now drop handlebars love these and these mirrors you can get hold of them and click them up look at that so if you're parking and you don't want anyone knocking your mirrors all you've got to do is just pop them down and then fold your mirrors in so very, very easy to set this bike up, get your mirrors in the right place and just bring them up just a notch. But very, very easy to do and set those mirrors up. So, let's just put that one back down to where I had it in the first place. Analog clocks, I love analog clocks. Speed and your revs across there. Telltales all across the bottom, so your indicators, main beam, neutral light, management light. And yes, a low fuel light. So it tells you when you're almost on the bottom of the tank, no more looking inside to slosh the tank around. But does this or does this not scream Baby Norton to you? I keep calling it the Baby Norton because it is. it does look very good. Right, let's get out and ride test this bike. Side stand up. So it's got your standard 125 tone. It's not a growler. It's not a thumper but it has a very, very good tone. Now these mirrors, good view to the rear on both of these mirrors. So absolutely spot on with the mirrors. But the seat, it puts you very low to the ground. Now I'm 32 inch leg and I've got bent knees. So if you're a shorter rider and you like something a little bit retro, this is gonna be for you. So we're gonna get this out into traffic. We're gonna have a roll around and we're gonna tell you all about the bike so as i'm rolling out the car park somewhere up here will appear all the technical specifications on the screen tells you all about the bike now the front disc on this is super big the one on the rear is a small little disc but it does for the size of the disc stop the bike very very well five speed box and the gear changes on this are absolutely effortless. Really super smooth little gearbox and clutch on this. So for the purposes of test ride, it is a brand new bike. Thank you very much, Mr. Car Driver. We're going to get out into traffic and we're going to open it up. But as I say, the maximum speed we are allowed is going to be 40 mile an hour. So let's get it up. It is very, very windy today, so there will be a little bit of wind noise. It is very early in the morning and it is just due to rain, but I've been dying to get out on this for absolutely ages and have a ride test and see what this bike handles like. Now, these drop handlebars, believe it or not, are very, very comfortable. Slight bit of lean to front, so I am leaning down on the bike, but not as much as you would do if you had a sports bike very easy to see the telltales as well so yet again i can actually see the telltales there's so many bikes you put the indicators on and you don't know if the indicator is working or not because you can't read the telltales on the display but very very easy to see just by glancing down those telltales on that display getting it up through the gears And once you're moving, it has got a very good engine tone to it. Now these grips are very, very similar to what I've just done on the AJS Barletta. These grips are lovely and lovely. 
and comfortable. I can't believe how good a set of grips is. Most grips are just dead straight grips on your standard bikes. These have actually got a little bit of a bulge to the centre of the grip so you can actually get your palm around them and get hold of those grips very, very well. I'm enjoying this bike and it feels very, very retro. It feels like I'm on something back again from sort of the 1970s, the 1980s and I, that is my era. So it does feel very comfortable for me. The seating and the riding position is great. Foot pegs are dead centre. Can't fault it. Beautiful riding position on this one. Now, I always do a thing called the reach score. So coming down through the box and I am just on back brake only. So great bit of braking off that back brake. Obviously if you need a bit more braking then you would use your front one. Coming off that front brake under the bridge. We're not going to do a rear bomb because it is a 125. But let's just see what she's like through the curves. And it just tracks really easy. Just a little bit of lean on the legs, a little bit of counter steer and just pushing it through those corners in the same gear, get the power on, come up, change out the gear into the top gear and just lean it over. But it is very lightweight for a 125. And obviously the centre of gravity on this is slung really low. So it does handle exceptionally well. Reach score, rideability. Full 10 out of 10. Love this. Absolutely love this. This is one of my new favourites, I think. Now, the economy, that's up on the screen. It's a 125. They're all going to be roughly around about the same for the miles per gallon. So nice and easy for the miles per gallon. So economy, full 10 out of 10. Affordability, for the price of what this is, it's not badly priced, you know. Affordability is very good for something a little bit retro like this so the affordability i'm going to give it a full 10. comfort can't fault the seat can't fault the riding position can't fault the hand position the levers the ease of operation of all these controls very very easy it all comes to thumb now front brake look at that really pops in on that front brake well and of course the final bit the handling full 10 out of 10 on this one can't fault it again it handles exceptionally well for a 125. You can sling this into the corners and it almost makes you want to go and do Brooklyn's or one of the old race circuits just to have a little bit of fun on it. So, first bike in ages, apart from one of my others, that I have given a full 50 out of 52. So, well done AJS, the Cadwell. Now, I have a couple of friends that have these and he has put even lower slung drop handlebars on so it does look like an old BSA but it is just that retro styling that just sets the bike off so definitely one to watch the AJS Cadwell it is a head turner people look at it and go oh so is available and the black and gold colour sets it off all the technical spec is up and of course if you are interested in one of these we do stock them Give the team a call, and the description is at the end of the video. Phone numbers are in there, guys. Until the next time, though, we are out riding yet another fantastic bike. Be well, ride safe, and from myself, it's a big goodbye from me.